the guru of Squad Up Zero. The assassin I know of the yes and the best at what I do. One of the most notorious in the YouTube anime and my community. Please don't doubt the infamy. Ah, another arts video, yes. Another requested video, my ad. This was a request a few months ago. And yes, I'm just getting around to it. Uh, I get requested for various videos. I do a lot of different types of videos. So, it is what it is. I also can contemplate and consider videos. And this was a very interesting one, to say the least. Or, I I forget if I, I partially was considering doing it. And I think someone asked me to do it. And I had to do about setting. Setting, setting, setting. Something a lot of people don't understand. Specifically, the importance of setting. Now, setting. Without going to a dictionary definition, because that may not help us in the situation. Setting involves a few different aspects. Number one, obviously the place. Okay? Specific location. There can be many settings in the store. Understand that. Uh, many locations. Number two, a time. Specific time. How could you have a, a place without a time? That's debatable, but that's just a part of it. Number three, atmosphere or mood, okay? The atmosphere is massively important. Uh, or, when I say atmosphere, and then there's mood or tone, excuse me. I, I forgot about the mood tone part, okay? Let's begin with breaking down each of these aspects so that we can hopefully make it simplified for anybody, okay? Even including kids. Place, location. When people think of setting, they think of the location. You know, it doesn't matter if it's in a movie, if it's in a book, if it's in a show, if it's, you know, it doesn't matter what medium it is. Hell, it, it could be a painting, it could be a drawing, it could be a, well, this shows where, well, actually the visual arts and including, mm, the textual arts are a little bit mm, iffy about it. But the visual arts could actually have a setting without a tone, or you're just completely guessing the tone. But, the location. There's almost always a location, including in the visual arts. There just is. That's, that's the way it is. That's the way things are perceived. That's the way things are constructed. Um, with the setting, we're talking about the foreground, the middle ground, the background. We're talking about the environment. We're talking about the climate. We're talking about the possibility of both the abiotic and the biotic factors. That means the non-living and the living factors. We're talking about individuals. We could be talking about people. We could be talking about aliens. We could be talking about animals. We could be talking about uh, the creepy crawly things. We could be talking about germs. We could be talking about a lot of things. Okay, uh, Is this aquatic, marine? Is this terrestrial? Is this sky? Is this heavenly as far as in space and celestial bodies wait where are we pretty much this answers the question of where and where is not just just by just part uh, like this little thing it's all the surrounding area that that you're traveling in. a setting this is very interesting because a setting isn't necessarily in a singular location what i mean it could be an entire town it could be an entire city okay or it could be a world doesn't mean you have to travel across the world um, because you are if you're traveling across the world you're generally traveling across various settings but it could just simply be the planet earth the planet earth and let's just say it's it's being way beyond post-apocalyptic let's just say it's meadows and trees and all that kind of jazz you feel me that's the landscape but all we know is just earth somewhere on earth it's just earth uh, so there is that fact okay location Location matters because location determines a lot. It determines the interactions of characters. It determines survival. It determines how one understands the world around him. How one understand, even perceives life to a degree. Location really matters. But even more importantly, it's time. And a lot of times, it's, it's asked of uh, the setting, you know, what what about the time you know if you don't have time time allows for an even greater driving force as to what's going on it adds 
more de in depth information. You don't necessarily even have to have atmosphere and, and the mood or the tone if you have just time and place. Time, we're talking historically, that determines, that puts in a framework, a template of what's going down. If I said medieval Europe, 14th century, that already brings to light certain factors. If I say uh, on March, Alexander the Great in India, and da da da, you, you understand certain aspects of what was going on. If I say um, somewhere far beyond the, the galaxies, at the edge of the universe, 18,000 years into the future, this is putting forth a potential. It's setting us up for greater expectation. It's getting our minds able to comprehend what's really going on. Because it's very easy in fiction for somebody to come up with some total BS. But if you put a framework in time and press chronologically, it helps us understand the events. If you don't have chronology, you could just be telling a story and just going all over the place. And while that may be cool, it, the longer the story goes, the less sensical it can be. And when it starts going out of sense, people start losing focus. And when you lose focus, you lose you lose a narrative, okay? Moving on. Atmosphere. The atmosphere is like, let's say, the it's a lot of times weather is a key component to creating the atmosphere. It's the, the there's the lighting has uh, oftentimes or lack thereof oftentimes has as a key point. The vibrance of colors. Um, animation plays a beautiful point. But the way things are drawn, the styles, the atmosphere determines the level of seriousness in the uh, in the story being told, the type, the genre in which it's being told, the the uh, the focus, sometimes the themes. It impacts the the structure of the story. It impacts the progression, the plot progression of the story, it impacts how characterization and character development will go through further into the story. And last but certainly not least, it is the most minute of the setting, uh, the setting points, okay? It is mood and tone. Now these are the least important, if, if you, you obviously need a place with setting. You obviously need, you know, you, you need that. A time is, is, is massively important as well. It's not as important, as essential as a, a, a location, but time does matter. Atmosphere is, is more in depth. It, it's, you can be pretty basic and not gain an atmosphere. The longer you go, the more you will have to establish an atmosphere. That it is a requirement. Mood and tone. This is something that can be woven into a story. It would be cho chosen uh, not to. And what I mean is, the tone, while the atmosphere sets the serious character, you know, serious nature, the tone is addressed by the characters involved in it. And the characters may not even be biotic factors, living factors. It may not be an animal person or any of those such things a sentient being it may not be uh, may not be a car it may be an inanimate object or uh, abiotic abiotic factor like uh, non-living like uh, storms or rocks trees well trees are actually living excuse me storms rocks uh, it may be a black hole personified and no it doesn't matter character can be any of that perfect the personification um, and so with that being said, it, the mood or tone weaves in a realistic element to it. It weaves in personality. Because you could have very flat characters. You could have very, what I mean by flat, they have no depth to them. They're not round. They're not an all overdeveloped character. They're just this basic, and you could have a little base characterization, and that's it. Loud, obnoxious, uh, loves the fight, and that's it. That's all you could, I mean, that, that's easy. But tone 
deals would allow for that loud, obnoxious character. Not not necessarily character development, but build upon the characterization. What I mean is simple. That loud, obnoxious character can be put into a situation of the very serious tone to where the person um, becomes more uh, relatable, become, the person becomes more understandable, the person becomes very likable, the person can become even charismatic to a degree. And so there's some depth to that characterization. But uh, overall, the four elements to setting are location, time, atmosphere, and mood or tone. Thank you.